Hello peeps, Drogot here, welcome back to another Starmate tutorial. Today, as I promised in the last, we are going to have a look at building torpedoes in Starmate, right? Okay, so before we start, um, I would like to um, bring everybody or every viewer on the same level. So what you might know is that with an activation block, you can make a docking module um, undock the ship that is docked to it, right? So in this case, this is just, this is nothing special. This is just an escape pod, right? So the ones I use are pretty easy to produce, yada, yada, yada. Just a little jump drive, radar jammer, that's it. Anyway, um, what else you might know is that when you have a beam weapon, you can. Um, sorry. If you have a beam weapon, you can hook that up to a push weapon. Is that connected? Yeah. You can um, hook that push up, and now the damage the beam normally would do is transferred to. Yeah, like applying force to something. So what this entire construct does, we add a little delay here for this basically just triggers the beam, right? So what this entire construct does is basically shoving out something out of a docking port, okay? So let's check that. Hey, come on, activate. See that? And it just goes wee. Okay, so this I figured was common knowledge, kind of, right? Uh, am I? No, I'm not. Okay, but I'm now. Okay, there we go. So this I figured was common knowledge. So just recently um, I stumbled upon a forum post and people were asking what to do with warheads. You know, these kind of thingies, right? And I figured, well, you build torpedoes out of them, right? And then I got aware that a lot of people might not know how to do that. So, yeah, what we need is a new ship. What's happening here? Oh, right. Yeah, I need to leave this first and then get over here. New ship. Come on. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yeah, let's fly over here. Uh, can we dock? Yeah, we should be able to dock. Come on. Okay, there. Docked. And then we can build here. Okay, so this new ship will carry our warhead. So the first thing we need, as with every ship, we need some energy. And the next thing we need is the push computer. Um, those, by the way, no matter how you turn them, will always face forward. So uh, you can't push things to the side as of now. I don't know if this is a bug or if this is intended behavior, but um, it kind of is strange because, I mean, I would like to behave this block like every, every other block, okay? So, anyway. Now, uh, of course, this needs a push module. Now, what this thing actually can do is it can push the, the ship forward. We are not hooking it up to any beam or something. This is not a third, secondary tertiary effect. No, this is the, um, like when you add an iron effect to a ship that strengthens the ship's shields. This is just the uh, effect when you just put the computer on a ship and it will just push the ship forward. Um, there's another cute thing with the stop thingy. Um, if you put that on a ship, you are not affected by a planet's gravity. So, um, yeah, so these um, effects uh, computers, they are really interesting to deal with. Now, the thing is, how do we make this thing um, push the ship? And that's pretty easy because what we need now is a simple clock. So I'll hook up something for us. 
So we are going like that. And what we do now is trigger that once, trigger that twice. Um, wait. Didn't I connect you back in there? I didn't. <laughs> so, okay. Now it's blinky, blinky, blinky doing stuff. Okay, this clock now. Uh, make sure that thing is docked because otherwise um, that thing would like go off in a second. Now we hook from the delay, we hook that up to the push computer. Uh, this makes the push computer no longer selectable by um, hopping in there in the weapons menu. See, you just have the core in the weapons menu. Before we hook that up to the logics, hey, get me out of there. Before we hook that up to Logix, you could actually access the push computer in the hotbar. Okay, so now as this is going to move forward, uh, the last thing we need to add is the warhead itself. Like this. Bloop. And um, <clears throat> now, um, as this thing is hooked up, all we need to do is basically release it right and it will go in a straight line forward uh, sadly there is no get me out of here okay there we go sadly there is no way of making it target anything you can just make him go straight forward what I tried doing is adding a Bobby AI and giving the Bobby AI uh, something to shoot with at an enemy ship but still hooking it up to with a push computer. This kind of works, but not on small enemies. They are just way too quick to, uh, you know, catch them. So um, you're better off, you know, using regular missiles. Well, in general, you're better off using regular missiles because they are way more effective because you will lose all of those components um, the moment I fire it. So, um, but without further ado, <laughs> let's just complete the entire tutorial here with a simple click. So yeah, that's it. Hello. Ah, right. Yeah, it only releases it when we turn it on. So. <laughs> yeah, that, that was fun. <laughs> okay, guys. So that's it. Thanks for watching. Um, I am not entirely sure what to do next time, so please leave some suggestions in the comments if you'd like. Uh, anything, anyway, if you like the video, also please leave a like. So, yeah, see you next time. Bye, guys.